All right, to those of you watching live here on Facebook, uh, this is Danny Monteverdi with Eyewitness News. I hope the audio is okay. We're live right now. Uh, it's kind of loud. We're under the Claiborne overpass just off of Canal Street uh, near downtown New Orleans, where this morning the city is clearing out the homeless encampment that is uh, generally under the overpass here. Uh, this is all in an effort to try to get the homeless off the streets as the COVID-19 outbreak continues to grow here in New Orleans. And you can see police are out here this morning helping the city clear out this site. Uh, there's also cleanup crews here as well right now uh, cleaning up the area, spraying it down, hosing it down, disinfecting it. And right now it's it's an active scene. You can see a lot of here, a lot of people out here from NOPD working to tape off the area. There are uh, garbage trucks as well. And there are actually city buses in the distance that you can see where people are uh, being loaded into the buses to be removed from this area. Now, uh, my colleague David Hammer reported yesterday on this at first. Uh, he said city and state officials were working to finalize plans that were gonna move uh, much of the city's homeless off the streets and into the uh, uh, Hilton Garden Inn uh, downtown on Gravier Street. It's a 155 room hotel in the CBD. Uh, that'll happen, um, I believe, for the next 30 days and that's gonna be paid for through a mixture of federal, state, local, and um, philanthropic funds. And so that is where they, uh, they will be going. And so again, I, I hope everyone out there can hear me okay. And again, if you're watching just now tuning in, we are under the Claiborne overpass, so I apologize for the noise. If there is any, it's the uh, traffic overhead on on the elevated Claiborne um, Expressway that's um, that's kind of loud out here. And so again, you're looking at live video of the uh, the city right now, uh, clearing out the area where it's typically the homeless encampment here uh, near Claiborne and Canal. Again, the uh, the city is working. Uh, to, to get the, uh, the homeless population off the street again. They're going to be going, uh, last report from David Hammer yesterday, my colleague here at Channel 4, was at the uh, general manager of the Hilton Garden Inn uh, on Gravier Street in the CBD, was uh, having 150, that 155-room hotel used to uh, house many of the city's homeless. And so again, you do see that the area has been cleared out. Uh, you see the ground is wet as they... Uh, as the uh, crews out here work to clean it up and you see city buses are here as well to start moving people uh, the, we're not quite sure when exactly that's going to happen but you can actually see the bus driver here is in a uh, personal protective equipment and uh, there is you know, there are some personal belongings being taken there it looks like um, some bikes for example and then also some luggage but we did see it, it, I'm not sure that everything that people had out here will be going with them. There were some people walking up with shopping carts, for example, that had some of uh, their uh, materials in them, and I don't know that those are being allowed, and you may be able to see in the distance, too. There uh, looks to be what are belongings of people over there, and I don't know what will happen to that, unfortunately. But again, if you are just joining us, uh, this is Danny Monteverdi with Eyewitness News. Again, I hope you can hear me okay. We are live under the Claiborne overpass right at Canal Street. So again, I apologize if it's loud and the traffic overhead is interfering with anything, uh, any of the audio. But again, uh, the city right now is clearing out the homeless encampment here at Canal and Claiborne. Uh, the the uh, Hilton Garden Inn downtown on Gravier Street uh, confirmed to David Hammer, Hammer yesterday that the plan was to start moving people in groups of 35 from encampments around the city over to that hotel. It's a 155-room hotel in the CBD, and they'll be housed there at least 30 days, and it's gonna be paid for through a mixture of federal, state, local, and philanthropic funds. And so again, that is the scene out here at Canal and Claiborne. And uh, again, you see the work continues. You see some of the cleanup crews here are, uh, it looks like maybe taking their suits off, so perhaps right now this is uh, the job might be wrapping up. Um, at any rate, we are going to stay on this throughout the day. We'll have updates, of course, throughout the day on WWLTV.com and, of course, on Channel 4 this evening and this afternoon on Eyewitness News. But for now, this is uh, Danny Monteverdi signing off.